<laughs> All right, sorry about the mid-sentence cut there. Interruptions from the other people in the house and all that. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, Taylor is currently looking at their chances at becoming a senator in the upcoming electoral season. That's interesting. Parliament discusses anime influence. Ah, uh, yes, important topics and all. During an unusual meeting held at Parliament today. Do they... Okay, so they have a Parliament, but, uh... Senators? I... Actually don't know how that works. So... I guess if anyone knows... Tell me the accuracy of a statement like that. I don't. I'm, I don't. I don't think that par. I thought they had a different name. Parliament representatives. I mean, the effects of anime on the population. It's nothing but filth. A representative for the Workers' Party yelled during the meeting. If I could choke every single writer and animator out there, I'd do it. I'd choke them with my own enhanced hands. Several anime studio heads have responded to the news. I think they would ban, ban it if it wasn't bringing in so much money to the local market, Yamake, a producer, told the Augmented Eye during a phone interview. I do agree that anime is trash, but I'll save the genre. You can trust me. Oh boy. Biker gang arrested after vandalism? The members of one of the largest biker gangs in the Motor C City sector were arrested after the group's leader and her entourage were found at the site of a protest last Friday. Their leader, commonly known in the streets as Christine Love, declared to the press that they were unjustly arrested and that her gang was only there to defend the protesters from the White Knights. They're afraid of us and they know they can't take us down. They used the protesters as a shield. Oh, sorry if you hear the fireworks going off in the background. The neighbors do love to set those off during the 4th of July. And it's nice being able to just kind of go outside and not have to, like, go to a fireworks show. You can just watch them from the backyard. Alright, they used a protester such as shield. Sorry for the tangent there. And we had no option but to surrender, Love told AE during a conversation on the phone. They're currently detained and waiting for a trial. The formal charges are still unknown so far. Alright, so Jill's distracted. Still, because I'm not buying anything, because I don't think we're going to come up with the money, and I'm scared. Alright, anyway, uh... Oh, isn't she a game developer? She's many things. Uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, the topics. Alright, go to work. If I give them bigger drinks, will they uh charge more? Hey Jill, let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. Isn't that a bit soon? Why, did someone famous get killed at a New Year's party? Ah, there she is again. Oh, okay. No, I mean, never mind. Sure, I'm in for it. Great. And Gil? He's coming too. I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do. Hey. No, I mean, where is he? He is escorting a client of his to the station. They should be back. He should be back any second now. Back. See. So you're coming to the New Year's party too, Gil? It's not like I have anything else to do. So, I told you. We're depressing people. <laughs> oh yeah, the kid from the other day, Gabby I think you called her, asked me to give you this. I believe it's a note. Aw, oh, Gabby. A note? Let's see. First of all, I want to apologize for my behavior, beha behavior from before. I was still hurt by my sister's death and it wasn't fair to take out all the stress on you. Let alone put the blame on you. Aw. Oh. And so it feels weird to ask you this of how you, I treated you, but I really want to talk to you. I want to catch up to chat for a while. To do what you were doing with me before I lashed out. Oh. I want to understand this freedom you talked about, the fear that drove you to fighting with my sister. I'll go back to the bar on the 31st. I won't take up much of your time. 
If you don't want to see me after all of that, I'll understand. But please, I really want to talk to you, Gabby. Wow, that girl has a big vote. None of that seemed especially big to me. She was always a smart one. Hmm, the 31st is written in different handwriting. Oh yeah, she asked me when you could be here, and relatively free, so I told her about the party. I also assumed you'd say yes to the party, which might not have been the best idea now that I think about it. Boss, I'm having second thoughts about coming to the party. What? Why? Because I really don't want to face Gabby again. Now it's coming back to me, what drove me to never go back and apologize after all these years. Fear and shame. Oh. Shame because I know I made a hideously stupid mistake, and it's painful to face your mistakes. And fear of what they might say. Uh oh. With Lenore, we never broke up formally, so I was always afraid if we were to meet again, she'd break up. <laughs> okay, that's a little silly. I think if you just bounce after three years, it's assumed. Or bounce for three years, it's assumed. And I don't want Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. Well, she just apologized for saying that before. Lenore was right to break up with me, and Gabby isn't the right to- No, no, calm down. Stop it. But I don't want her to. Maybe if I never- Hey, you can't just avoid it forever. She'll never see me. Jill, you idiot! Eh? You're thinking backwards. Didn't the letter say she wanted to understand you? If you bail out on this, she will hate you. Not only that, but you're getting a new chance here. Do you want to live the rest of your life running from another memory? Didn't you just say to Armitage that you hated feeling like that? Armitage? <laughs> the hacker. Alma, right. I don't know what happened when you fought with that girl's sister, but now you have the chance to make amends. And not only that, you have us watching your back. Oh. So I want you to think about this. One day of fear, or a lifetime filled with regret, which one do you pick? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I hate feeling like that. I won't run away this time. Oh, yeah. Good, because I would have gone to your apartment and dragged you out of there if need be. <laughs> hey, boss. <laughs> Thanks. That's what friends are for. Yeah. Anyways, let's start the day. Oh, that's nice. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Seriously though, it's the second note that has stirred up. It's the second note that stirred up such feelings in me. The second one? Two weeks ago I got another note in the mail. This one was from Oh. This one is from Lenore. Was that the envelope you took away from me in a panic? Yep. You haven't opened it? Why not open it with Gabby? You're facing one fear, you might as well face the other. Maybe. Don't push her, Chief. I'm out, I just know she's capable of doing all that. I'll go secure stuff for the party, call me if you need anything. Keep it up, Jill. Thanks. Oh, it's Stella. Happy holidays. That's nice. Someone's happy. We held a party for the staff and their children. You should have seen the faces of those kids receiving gifts. Nabbing that Santa suit at the last minute. The other day was totally worth it. Santa dresses seem to have been pretty popular this year. I heard they were sold out in most places. There was this weird shortage of Santa suits, but luck was on my side this year. <clears throat> Sorry for that outburst. Why, you looked so happy. I felt happy. You shouldn't hide your happiness. Um, anyway, can you get me a cobalt velvet, please? Sure. Who came? Oh, not Gabby. Cobalt velvet. Right up. I don't know if the actual mathematics of this work out that way, but, you know, 
Here. Thanks. Are you meeting with Sai today? She should be here in a bit. She told me she wanted a drink, and since I was coming here too. Sadly, I can't stay for long. I have some errands to run. How's she been lately? She's better. Her wounds have been healing really nicely. If only she stopped scratching at her bandages so often. Dude, if I get a scab or something, it is game over. I scratch at that until I can't scratch anymore. What about her eye? Eye? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hers. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It'll take longer to heal, but as long as it's kept clean, there should be no problem. But to be honest, I'm more worried about her emotional wounds. Oh. She doesn't show it, but she's had depressive bouts from time to time. And who can blame her? Her life changed completely. Yeah. The job she loved no longer exists. She was used it as, as, a, as a disposable pawn in the whole bank affair. I'm afraid it will all make her go, or it'll make her go back to her old ways. Old ways. There was a rough spot when Sai was a teen. Her mom's clinic was about to close. Her biological father, who was a tool, showed up. And the teachers at her school didn't help. Sai is not a slow learner by any means, but often her way of learning stuff is different. She needs equivalences to things she knows. You need to, uh, you need to get a bit in her mindset. Once you get this, she's a fast learner, but schools don't have that kind of patience. They basically branded her a failure, and she dropped out. Ouch. I would have suggested a special course somewhere else, but that would have offended her. She's always been against being labeled a special or different. Anyway, Sai was totally different during that period. Pfft. A foul mouth, short fused. Always frowning, the total opposite of her. Uh, that is really hard to imagine. From time to time, to see, I see that old look across her face and it's scary. Oh. We're comparing her to her teen self, though. People mature. Maybe she'll know signs from time to time. Show signs from time to time. But I bet Sai knows better than to go back to that. I hope so. Get me something cold and sweet, will you? Sure. The very first, huh? Oh, man. At least these distractions are, like, different. Moonblast on the rocks and blended. Sweet. Alright. Six Adele hide. One powder delta. One flanergide. Two carmo drive. Ice and blend. Ta da! Moonblast. Thanks. This is the kind of stuff that Sai asks for, you know? Now that you mention it. So I take it size family situation isn't exactly fine and dandy then? It's a mess they've tried to fix over time, and I'm glad to say they've actually done it. Sai's mom had a really abusive relationship with her biological father. Sadly, many women in that situation, like many women in that situation, she has tried to justify his actions. Oh. But apparently things got nasty when Sai's mom... Miss Emmy got pregnant. Oh no. At that point, she had an epiphany, one could say. She didn't want that guy to raise her child, so she finally sought help. One second, please. <coughs> Things weren't so easy, though. Oh no. Before, before the authorities could take him away, Miss Emmy got a serious beating from him. Oh no, this is this is rough stuff. Oh, I kicked my stand too. I'm sorry. She still uses a cane. Oh no, cane to walk thanks to that. She moved here. Sai was born. She started a veterinary clinic. So did he come back? He was drunk and he couldn't find any drugs, so he made it to the city. He caused a ruckus for a couple of days until Sai managed to scare him off, using like whatever 
Krav Maga juju she had up her sleeve. How? She beat him to near death three times? Oh my god! Dude had it coming. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but... Oh, don't worry, I laughed too. The dramatic irony there is delicious. <laughs> I wonder, can you be really can you really be so calm in the parts of the lower parts of the city? Hmm? I mean the streets are not exactly safe. And a cat boomer is sure to become a target. Well, I have many security staff with me at all times, so there's no problem. Besides, this part of the city is comfier. Come again? Sure, Uptown is cleaner and maybe more secure, but it's also too sterile. Like, the unnaturally white, non-dirt, anything signs of living. The future, brought to you by Apple. Around here- oh, my microphone fell. You can actually get a feel of the warmth of people. You feel like the people are living. I especially like going by a busy food stand. I can feel the warmth there that Uptown doesn't have. Oh, there's Sai. It's also easier to talk to people. You finally came. Welcome. If you try to talk with someone in the upper part of the city, they either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. People around here are a bit wary, but they're also more likely to talk to you. Not that things aren't nice there, though. Can I get you something? I feel like having a beer. Make that two. But I just want one. I'm asking for one for me. Adding one to your order. Oh, that, right. Focus, Jill. It's not the 31st yet. Stop worrying. Oh, man. Alright, so. Oops. One, two. Ah. One. One, two, one, two, three, four. Ta da! One, two. Oh no. Oh, that's what happened. Alright, try that one more time. There we go. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks. Sigh, you should have seen the kids after you left. So happy. They were all playing with the toys you picked. You nailed it again this year. They were all asking, where's Sai? Where's Sai? Why do they call you just Sai when they call me Auntie Stella? I don't look that old. Nah, but you, you have that... You got you have a very regal look to you that feels like it should have like something in front of it. <laughs> Don't worry, they still like you. Sorry I had to leave, but mom worked overtime that night and I couldn't leave her alone. What happened? Well, there were fireworks and some dog thought it'd be safe to hide in a jar. Oh oh. It's the one. It's the one thing I never really think about, all the fireworks that go off, it sucks for dog owners. Most of the time. We had a dog that was super chill with just about everything, all the time. She was super cool. And our other, her two puppies were pretty cool too, they never really got all jazzed up about it. But they were pretty much, yeah. They didn't freak out about fireworks, and it's not like we have the commercial grade explosions going on the whole time. It's just some people setting some off periodically throughout the night. The little guy managed to get his head and paw inside before getting stuck. Ah. And it was plastic so they couldn't just try to break it. Oh no. That's messy. She needed someone to hold the dog while she worked. Poor fellow was scared. Oh. Well, I'm out. Oh yeah. We'll have a New Year's party Saturday if you want to come. Sure, it's better than depressing myself with Dad's woes about next fis fiscal year. I'll be there. Bye, Jill. Bye, Sai. Careful. Please come again. You want to come too? I'd love to. I'll also make up for not coming last time. How was the party? Oh, it was wonderful. Truth or dare? <laughs> yeah. 
Had some fun, broke some glasses, ate lots and lots of food. Seriously, looking back, the amount of food was ridiculous compared to the number, number of people who were there. Better leftovers than left hanging, don't you think? Yeah. Can I get you something? Let's try something classy. Ooh. She's so distracted by the Gabby thing. Let's see here, classy drinks. Ooh, I should be strategic about what I make. Make the most expensive things on the menu. Sorry, Sai. Alright, so 250. Are they all 250? Cobalt Velvet is 280, and I already made one of those, so good on me. 260. Alright, Cobalt Velvet it is. One, two. One, two, three. Three, four, five. 